The far side of the river has seen a lot of growth lately, mostly centered on trade and tourism. The harbor facilities and the residential district have been side by side for a very long time. My father can be kind of offensive, which works both to his advantage and detriment. Hmm. Oh. Huh. As Harbor Master, I should definitely not have to put up with such nonsense. Actually, if anything, it seems odd that the same town would cross both sides of a river if they could not, um... It seems odd it would be on both sides, given that they couldn't have a bridge connecting it. It feels more likely that Ruin would... In real life, Ruin would have been two separate towns, one on either side of the river, that may have merged later after they were connected by a bridge. I say, while living in a city where there is totally a section of the city that's on the other side of a river. So, although to be fair, in my case, they actually put a bridge there. Although I don't know if the bridge, I don't know whether the bridge came before or after that section of the city, to be fair. That might be something interesting to look up sometime. Since airship transit got suspended right as I was about to leave, I had a walk here from Zeiss. <sighs> Let me tell you, that's no gentle massage on the feet. But hey, could have been worse. Hmm. I don't think I can afford this. Yet. I still have like 200 water sepith. 300, even. We'll just burn like 140 of that. No, I said 140. 140. Wine steamed eggs. Yes, please. And give me the salubrious oatmeal. Please, <laughs> let me do it. I want to go fishing with Estelle some more. It would, that would be pretty great. I already looked over here. Uh, let's see. This is where it came from. I wonder what's... Oh, the mayor's residence. This is a plaza and nothing less. Terribly sorry, but the mayor isn't here at the moment. If you'd like to give him a message, I'd be happy to take it for you. Sapphire Glim, said to be the culmination of early Orbal arts, given to House Del Moor by the citizens of Rouen immediately after the Orbal Revolution, as thanks for contributions to the city's growth. Cookware is the life's blood of a chef. That's why it absolutely must be well maintained.
This place is so big! I mean, I guess we're guests in a sense. <laughs> no, we aren't. <laughs> That is a building which employs at least four or five people just to maintain it. My husband truly loves his work. It's a wonder that he hasn't passed out from exhaustion on a few occasions. I work in the tourist and hotel industries of central Rouen. The most popular new construction with the tourists will, has definitely been the Hotel Blanc. The Pinta Suite there is particularly nice. The warehouse district, I presume. Neat. I suppose that would be a warehouse district. What you did in a warehouse district. That would be its purpose. Looks like some of the warehouses are abandoned, too. Hmm. kids doing down here. Hey, this place is off limits. You brats ain't getting in, so scram! Why indeed? Hmm. Suspicious. Bet we're gonna be coming back here later on. at you lot. Really? Really? Well, well, well. Must be our lucky day, see? Not too many wing folk come around these parts. You're a real sight for surprise. Ha ha ha. Oh, this and that, you know. This and that. We've been here for quite a while, actually, that we have. If you Anis have any time to spare, how about you entertain us, eh? That is what I'm wondering. Oh, check it out now. I like my tough woman. I'll take all the abuse you can dish. Oh, okay. You're gonna re regret saying that, I think. <laughs> Your goal was to creep me out even more. Consider your your mission accomplished. Hey, you know, if you ladies are playing tourists, then maybe we can uh, show you around town, eh? You can ditch the little kid with you, and we'll have some fun. <laughs> Aw, you holding back? For our sake, kid. How sweet. Boy, does Brack it off. Hanging around with you two. <laughs> I think he needs a little lesson in just how unfair life can be, don't you think, boys? If 
my presence has somehow offended you, then I apologize. But if you lay a finger on the ladies, I'll make certain that you regret it. That looks like a uniform. Stuart Gilbert. I can't believe you men would start again with this delinquency! You're old enough to know better! You should be ashamed of yourselves! Okay, so it's like a butler. Or some sort of servant for the mayor. How dare you degenerate, you denigrate my work! How dare you indeed! Gilbert is as a valuable member of my staff. Ruin has always been a free city. I have no intention of lodging any complaint about your manner of speech or your attire. But bothering outsiders, who may be paying guests, is not permissible. Stop it, old man! You think you're such a big shot? He clearly does. We ain't interested in a thing you have to say. How dare you speak to the mayor in such a fashion? How would you like for us to report you to the Bracers Guild again? Hm. It's not like the Bracers would get here right away. We'd have plenty of time to enjoy the altercation. And we'd be gone without a trace before anyone was the wiser. Uh, I hate to ruin your masterful plan, but I'm afraid we're already here. <laughs> you guys are bracers? No shit. <laughs> so, wait, this little punk you're with is also a bracer. Yes. Do you remember what happened the last time we took on a chick racer? Even if, even with three people, she wiped the floor with us. Going up against two bracers, even if they do look like pit squeaks, is totally not a good idea. This guy actually has some sense. Not, you know, a lot, since he got into this situation in the first place, but enough sense to realize that trying to fight his way out is a poor idea. I really hope we have a mission to beat them up later. <laughs> eh, no harm done. And we. And don't we have somewhere we need to be? I must apologize. I loathe when our city's guests are bothered. Forgive my lack of an introduction. I am Delmore, Mayor of Rouen. And this is my steward, Gilbert. A pleasure, I'm sure. You are bracers, are you not? I still don't know if that's a man or a woman. Is it Jean or is it Jean? Maybe I'm being overly reductive. Uh, <laughs> We came to Ruin in search of work, actually. Hmm, usually hard times would mean you don't have much money, but... Uh, contextually, I think you're referring to something else, probably. Uh, yes sir, I'm Chloe Rins. I'm a second year student at the Royal Academy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Charmed. Dean Collins is a friend of mine, actually. Hmm. Didn't you graduate from the Royal Academy yourself, Gilbert? Yes, sir. You said your name was Chloe. I've heard a great deal about you. You ran against Jill for head of the student council, right? 
you must be proud to have been a contender as a junior. Oh, you flatter me, sir. I trust you'll be given your all to make it a memoir, no? Yes, sir, I absolutely will. If those ravens start making trouble again, feel free to drop by and let me know. It is my duty as mayor of Ruan to ensure that these streets are safe for tourists and residents alike. Stemmore is made up of a long line of well-bred aristocrats. So this is another case of mayor for life. I really want to know what's up with that. I might want to, I might look that up at, up if there's any historical precedents for that. It obviously doesn't conform to real life, but may I mean like to modern day real life, but maybe historically that was more common. It wouldn't surprise me terribly. I'm very sorry for leaving you into such a place unprepared. It's not like we sought them out or anything. We should probably keep our distance from the back end of the warehouse district, though, to avoid any further problems. Okay, let's see what is over here. Did I go in here? I did. Wait, did I go in here? <laughs> Yeah, I definitely did. Okay. I guess that- I guess we're done sightseeing? Maybe? We saw the mayor, so that would suggest- I suspect the mayor is the one that uh, the Bracer Guild is meeting with, so... Ah! It is John! Okay then. I'm glad we've cleared that up. Come in. Welcome to the Bracer's Guild. Hmm? Oh, Miss Rins. Are you here for another extermination request? Haha, <laughs> I know. Security's being tightened for the campus festival. Uh, no, but I'm sure I'll be here for that at some point. Today I'm just visiting with Estelle and Joshua. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Estelle, Junior Bracer. So you're Estelle and Joshua. Wow, it looks... It is so good that you're here. We've been waiting for you ever since we got word from the Bose branch. Hmm. My name is John. I I'm the receptionist for the Ruan branch. I'll be supervising you two, as well as providing various types of support. It's a pleasure to meet both of you. <laughs> I have high hopes for you both. After all, you were the ones who so magnificently handled the Sky Bandit incident. Uh, I mean, I think we helped out more than a little, but... Maybe less than a lot. Like, we definitely were serious contributing factors, but we cannot say that both Shara... What, hmm, I actually don't want to give the armor too much credit. They did all Like... Like... That was sort of a parallel investigation going on. Certainly Shara did, uh, pulled a lot of weight, though. I mean, if they caught them after we rescued the hostages while they were attempting to flee from us. Alright, the two of you are now part of the Ruin Branch. Welcome aboard! We've been so busy, you couldn't have picked a better time to come. Now you can't get away. <laughs> it's, is something particular going on? I wouldn't say that exactly. We are expecting a number, or a member of the royal family to visit. 
No, of course not. I didn't know it's someone of royal blood. I've heard he or she will be giving Ruin a thorough inspection, though. Because it's a member of the royal family. Even one thing, even one thing is out of place. <laughs>